Hi. Uh, seriously, got legally nerfed. Yeah, I know. So such a non-nerf. Basically, from what I see, oh, is, is the patch live? Yeah, it is, right? I mean, if we're just looking at this shit, like, yeah, okay, there is a nerf. It's nice, and it's like not even close to a nerf. I feel like Hog is completely butchered, right? Like you can't one shot anymore. I don't know. I, I think I think that the surgeon nerf might be enough. Who knows? It's hard to say, really. The ult's still going to be broken, but I think a neutral game's going to be a lot weaker. I don't know. I, f I find the original change is dumb. Like, um, I mean, I'll talk about the patch notes uh, probably after this game, like properly. But uh, there isn't a need. Like, I don't. I, I mean, if it's, I don't think she ever should have had shield on her forward five. There's never an ability that needed a shield. All it does is is, is allows bad players to use their four or five too late to get away with it. The problem I thought with Arisa was her cooldowns are way too short. Like right there, like she's the defensive cooldown rotation she has is so much better than any other DPS, uh, any other tank here in the game. Mad. And yeah, I I I strongly believe that your average Mercy main is worse than your average main of almost any other hero in the game, and and knows less about the game than average main of almost any other hero in the game. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why do I have to do that just as I f say that? <laughs> That's a clip right there. Yeah, but Hog, Hog is is a much harder hero than Mercy. Like as easy as Hog is, the only hero in the game, in my opinion, that's easier than Mercy is Moira. The issue with Mercy is that your value is is entirely, at least on the current way you play it, and honestly, pretty much always where you play it. The value you get from Mercy is, is pretty much correlated to how good your DPS is. But because Mercy is the most popular hero in the game by far, and because in my opinion, like Mercy is the most team reliant hero in the game, I think that she's like, she's just like, she's just not. Like I feel like if you're a Mercy main. If you're a Mercy one trick, you have a less understanding of the game than any other uh, one trick in the game, I think. It's like, Mercy's like 16% pick rate, the next highest is like 8%. She's so much higher than any other hero in the game, it's like insane. I mean, I don't know what they're doing, but like, they're just like, actually like, I'm just farming them. Actually, insanity, by the way, that that didn't kill the McCree. Like, that didn't kill the Cassidy there is insanity how bad this all is. OWT rank system, go players being put in GM matches. I mean, I understand that, that that's salt speaking, but like, that doesn't really happen. It doesn't I happen don't see you guys. more so than it happens in other games, really. Like, oh yeah, sometimes like there's a smurf in your game who shits on everyone. Well, sometimes there's a guy who, like, I had a League of Legends game yesterday, where it was like, it, it was like a, like a low plat game, and there was this Yasuo who was playing on his, he said he was playing on his friend's account, he was Silver 3 peak, and he literally just ran it down. He was like 0 and 15. Because the guy was like, oh, that was so lucky. I went to go for and missed. Wow, I died so fast. Like, in terms of rank system, like, I think that Overwatch has the better half of, some of the better, a better rank system than most games. Like the the Overwatch rank system, the main problems I have with the Overwatch rank system isn't so much the actual quality of rank games. I think that stayed pretty much the same for a long time. Um, it's more so like the visual clarity of it. Like I feel like it's so hard to tell when you're actually like getting. Uh, like when you're like how much rating you're gaining and stuff. The rest of Anna is a bit jerky. Even though Anna's respawn timer was about to come back up. Smartest mercy player. I think the only time the 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 the, the spot where the Overwatch rank system is the worst is when you're in high SR. When you're like when you're at like sort of like high top 500, then the rank then the rank system becomes really shit because you get these lobbies where everyone's like top top 20, top 30, and then there's one guy who's like, like low GM, and they just int the game for everyone. But that's such a niche problem that like for the majority of you guys who, who, are, who are low elo, it literally doesn't make a difference. Oh, what the hell? I'm probably dead. Uh, 
I fucking love a resident hero. Like, that is so dumb! Like, they need to remove the slow after the spear. Like, the problem with the spear isn't the knockback, bro. It's right there. I couldn't move for like two seconds after because of the slow. I'm full HP, I get speared, and I'm instantly dead because of the slow. Dude, why does it feel like every every month there's a new Overwatch nonce? Alright, uh, let's actually talk about the patch notes real quick. Uh, I'm gonna cancel the queue as I do this. Pop. So, if you look at the fortified changes to Arissa, now this is the only change to Arissa. 50 health reduced. In my opinion, like, this is not even close to enough. Like, this is not the changes Arissa needed. Like, it's nice, but it's not, uh, it's not enough. Like, she needs cooldown nerfs, is what she needs. It's the biggest problem that she has is is that her cooldown time is way too high. Like you could the way you could do like your spin into your um, fortify into your spin and use your sh spear for knockback. You feel so hard to punish on Arisa if you have any degree of cover. And the hog changes impact damage from thirty to five. That's minus twenty five damage. It's after pull it's increase from three to four. That's damage for pallet reach from six to six, six point six to six. Now I don't know what that is. Um that's like ten percent nerf. Ten minus twenty-five plus ten percent nerf plus an extra I mean basically this hero is dog shit, I think. I don't see this hero ever being play playable now because you just can't you don't have any threat. Like there's a hog walking around in it on the flank. It's just like, oh wow, like who cares? So energy gain is no longer based on damage done by a primary fire. Each primary fire hit against player will now grant 5 energy. Primary fire damage reduced from 10 to 9. This is really, really good buff. Uh, nerf, sorry, in my opinion. I think this is like, really healthy. So I assume now her railgun's going to be much harder to get outside of ult. And her primary fire damage is a lot less. I actually, when it, when I read this change, I thought this would be a really good change. I, I, I don't know like exactly how her primary fire charged before. But I'm guessing, like I'm just assuming... This is just a pretty much a blanket nerf. Hopefully it's not. Do I think it's enough? Damage use crit was 13 charge. So wait, before you're telling me that that it was five. It on a body shot before it was five and ten. So you're saying if it's ten for a headshot, you're implying it as five for a body shot. So this really isn't even a nerf. Well, it is a nerf. I think that the main thing that they need to do as well is they need to make it so you don't gain charge for, for shooting shields. I don't know why that is a thing. Um, it seems really bizarre to me that like I don't like that. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think that the, the 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 primary fire damage nerf is definitely good as well, but I don't know if it's enough of a nerf. Uh, Kiriko recovery time increased from 0 0.85 to 0 0.1. Pure projectile slow move a single tire here average is higher than we like. This is good actually. I like this. So basically, just like a straight healing output, like 15% nerf to a healing, um, which is good. So I think that's that's. Like overall the changes are pretty good. I think that the problem I have with this company right now is that like I feel like they're way too scared to like butcher heroes into the ground. I mean like they, they did it with Hog and they did it with Doomfist. But besides that, what other times do they really like Nah again you didn't get butchered into the ground really? Like I feel like with Arissa, you just delete the hero from the game for a bit. So, like Sojin has been meta ever since she was released. I mean, Sojourn, in, in, as terms of percentage playtime, is has been the most meta here in the history of the game. She's been meta for pretty much every single f***ing time she's been around. Please just nerf the hero. Um, but they need, they really need to do something harder. Rather than just doing these, like, small pussy nerfs, uh, might as well just nerf it. Widowmaker it makes me want to shoot my penis off. My penis AFK. My penis so scared. My penis AFK. My penis so scared. My penis AFK. My penis so scared. My penis AFK. It's just bullshit. Hey friends. We're bullfriends. Yeah. Hey friends.